I know wheat is used, there are different types of wheat, and they're used for different types of products, some right. for bread, some for pasta. What is your grain, where does it end up, and what is it used for? Well, depending on the year, some, some seasons won't give us quality wheat. We'll, we'll do our best to grow a crop, and, and what'll happen is the weather doesn't cooperate, and the, the conditions don't fall into place, and, and you get feed wheat. Otherwise, our good quality wheat, which is what we strive to grow, typically goes to flour mills and uh, that does get turned into flour for, for breads and cakes. Who do you view as your customer? Is it the, the consumer, like someone like me who's living in a city? Is your client the pharmaceutical companies? Is your client the grain elevator? Like, who do you see as being your customer? Our grain is a, a worldwide commodity. What we're, what we're producing and what we're selling goes, goes everywhere. So we may not be an international company, but we produce international food. How do I, as a consumer, know that uh, the products that I'm consuming are, are safe? I don't know what kind of pesticides you've used or herbicides or any of those products. What kind of controls are in place to ensure that uh, the products that you use are safe? All processing companies have strict guidelines that they follow and uh, criteria that needs to be met. When they take in this grain, they'll test it and they'll, they'll make sure that it's uh, pesticide free to an extent, they, they want to make sure that there's no residue on it. And, and if it is, they reject that. And that's not able to be used for human consumption. It's not being able to use for uh, livestock consumption. Uh, if there's any question with quality, it doesn't enter the food chain at all. Food safety is a, a number one priority for, for everyone from, from the producer all the way down to the consumer. How do you decide what type of herbicides to use. You know, you get a lot of information, you get bombarded with it at trade shows and uh, you get to hear about new products and what they can do for you, what they claim they can do for you. On our farm here, we get visited by several reps and, and they come to, to give us their take on what their products are and what they can do for us. And uh, we do our homework and we make sure that what we're using fits what we need. And we hope to produce as high quality grain as possible with as high yields as possible and um, we do use a lot of BASF fungicides and, and those do help us achieve optimum yield and, and optimum quality. One of the things we're seeing a little bit of in Ontario, although it's on a different scale than, much smaller scale than here, is the concept of terroir, where as a consumer you will know if you're buying flour, you will know which farm it came from and which field and which place and what the growing conditions were. Right. Is there any concept of that here? As far as wheat production goes and canola production here now, it's not coming into play. You know, a farm that'll produce thousands of tons of wheat a year, it'd be very difficult to label all that. Typically, producers meet the consumer's needs in order to produce a quality product for them. So if that's where things are headed, we're not afraid of that. We have nothing to hide. We produce a good crop and, and quality products. And, and if they need to know every step of the way, I'm, I'm happy to open open my farm to show them how we do it.